And we're going to start out with a uh, special guest on the program that I was really, uh, really excited to have him send me an email a few weeks back, just out of the blue. Uh, his name is Andrew Lee, and he is the head of Purse. You can go to purse at purse.freetalklive.com. We've been talking a lot about Purse over the last few weeks, and that's because Purse has signed on as uh, a sponsor of Free Talk Live. And I'm really jazzed about it because it's one of those situations where a company that you were already excited about, in my case, I was already excited about Purse, and we were talking about it on the air uh, before they became a sponsor. They became a sponsor because we were essentially talking about them on the air. I mean, I don't why know don't you tell people why you're excited about them? Oh, well, because you can get 25 percent off easily on pretty much every single product on Amazon when you pay with Bitcoin. That's the magic of purse. You can get up to 25 percent off and possibly even more than 25 uh, percent off. You you get to choose basically uh, what your discount is. And Andrew Lee from San Francisco, welcome to Free Talk Live. Hi, Ian and Mark. Pleasure to be here. Thanks. It's uh, it's great to have you. Apparently, you've been a listener of Free Talk Live for a little while. It was uh, I think you told me it was Roger Veer who turned you onto the show. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Um, it's kind of the reverse case of Roger. I think he heard about Bitcoin um, by listening to Free Talk Live. He did. Um, and I, I, I was working on Bitcoin and uh, learned about Free Talk Live through the Bitcoin community. <laughs> Very cool. I love it when things work out that way. So I guess, how did you get interested in Bitcoin? What uh, what turned you on to it? And, and could you, for our listeners who, uh, who don't know, people tuning in for the first time tonight, could you describe Bitcoin for them? Sure. So Bitcoin, uh, and there's a lot of different ways to think about Bitcoin, and there's uh, all kinds of comparisons made um, to national currencies, to uh, you know banks or remittance services. Well, what we kind of think about it, uh, think about Bitcoin, is as a more efficient payment system. Um, it's international, it's permissionless, um, anybody can join, and it's open source. So uh, you know we think there's really powerful technology that needs a use case um, to get people on board. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've uh, been fans of Bitcoin for years here on Free Talk Live. Our listeners who've been listening for a while know that we are basically the first media organization to start accepting Bitcoin for payments. A lot of our uh, advertisers actually pay us with Bitcoin because, gosh, it's a lot easier to pay with Bitcoin than it is pretty much anything else out there. And there's next to zero fees when you do it with Bitcoin. So businesses that start accepting Bitcoin uh, can c immediately cut out whatever credit card fees they had been paying on the, the transactions that they're otherwise getting with uh, with Bitcoin. So it's a huge boon to international trade, to business well, people. It's a superior currency. Yeah. The difficulty with uh, with it is is that people sort of need a reason to use it. Right. They already have currencies in many cases. And, um, well, and Gresham's Law dictates that you will spend the least valuable of the currencies, the, the ones that you don't want to really hold on to. And so if I have to choose between Bitcoin and Federal Reserve notes, the U.S. dollar, I'm going to spend the dollar because I know the U.S. government's going to print more dollars out and going to devalue their own currency over time. That's just the sort of the history of the dollar. That's not going to change anytime soon, whereas Bitcoin can go up. In fact, it has gone up in the last few weeks uh, in value. And so I'd be more likely to hold on to my Bitcoin. What you're talking about when you said this use case is something that you came up with, purse to encourage people to actually spend Bitcoin, to give them a real solid, undeniably good reason to actually spend their Bitcoin, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, and so, you know, Amazon already has the lowest prices on almost everything, and they run one of the most efficient businesses in the world. Um, and to many listeners, you know, 25% discounts on Amazon might sound too good to be true. It does. It really yeah, does. Yeah, I think a lot of people just, I mean, they, they hear the term 25% off um, on, you know, every everything all Must the time. Must be a scam. Yeah, 25% off. What, you know, it's a sale. What big deal. But Amazon never offers sales. There's no 25% off because they already have great pricing. So if you want to get 25% off on it, it's basically... Basically a raise, right? Everybody yeah, out there really is like having, having difficulty. You know, hey, we need more money. Um, well, here it is. Pretty much everything you need in your life, you can now get it at about 25% off. Right, right. Yeah, so to explain kind of how, where the discount comes from, I mean, you've got to understand that there's a huge credit market out there. Um, it's actually to the tune of $100 billion um, that are issued in the form of store credit. Um, and they're, you know, gift cards, hotel points, airline miles. Um, they're all essentially IOUs issued by corporations. Mm -hmm. And if you hold any of these IOUs, you'll find that it's very difficult to turn it into useful cash. Um, so if you have a hundred dollar bill, you know, or a hundred dollar balance on Amazon, it's really hard to say what the value of that hundred dollar balance is without creating a market. 
Um, and so we essentially built a market for Amazon credit and Bitcoin because we think Bitcoin is a lot better than um, these corporate issued IOUs. And, uh, and, so, and so if, if you want to shop on first, you, know, you, re you don't really have to understand all of the marketplace underneath. Um, especially with Instant, you just search for an item that you like, uh, like coffee, or, uh, and select the item that you want and just save by spending Bitcoin. I really need to try Purse Instant. I know it exists, but I've never really wanted to get just 5% off. Is, isn't it Purse Instant gives you an instant 5% off? Yes, it's 5% off, and it's uh, free two-day delivery. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, but for me, I'm like, I want to get 25% off, so I'm, I'm willing <laughs> to wait for an hour or two hours or whatever. I mean, do, what's the average? Do you have these statistics as, as far as like how long do people have to wait typically to get big discounts like 20 to 25% off? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, in, the, in, the, in our first year of business, um, we, uh, we saved uh, Bitcoiners almost half a million dollars wow. um, compared to them spending on Amazon. Um, and the average discount was 20%. Mm -hmm. um, and so, especially in the U.S., and it, it, each of these markets are different, whether it's the U.S. Amazon or you know, the U.K. Amazon or, or, or what have you, because we support all of them. Um, it, but, but uh, you know, the market, the discount rate actually changes a little bit, and the time it takes to get your order fulfilled changes a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, with 20% in the U.S. for uh, you know Amazon items, um, we get those fulfilled in less than twelve hours. It's incredible. So if you're willing to, if you are willing to wait for a day, uh, twelve hours, or twelve hours, half a day. In my case, the most recent time I did. We're 20%, not talking about a great deal of uh, yeah. patience here. The new router in the studio here took ninety minutes to fulfill it, twenty percent off. Uh, so if you're willing to wait, because what happens is when you when you order through Purse with Bitcoin, your Bitcoin goes into escrow with Purse, and then it sits. Your order sits in a marketplace where people can essentially the people who want to get Bitcoin then buy the product for you as a gift on Amazon, and then once it reaches you, you then release the Bitcoin to them, right? So essentially, the people p buying that Bitcoin are paying that 20% premium on top of the regular price. Yeah, that's that's correct. And and why would someone pay that much money for Bitcoin? Oh, I mean, so, so the cases vary, um, and you know, you know, the discount rates on our order book vary, uh, range from five percent all the way up to you know thirty-five, fifty percent. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's up to the individual to kind of decide whether or not that's worth it to them. And uh, and one use case that we, you know, that, that turned out to be incredibly powerful is that you know, Amazon affiliates and Amazon Mechanical Turks and um, these different independent contractors that work on these online services are actually paid an Amazon gift card. And if you think about where these people might be living. Um, they're predominantly in India, Indonesia, you know, Philippines, um, in, in the Southeast Asia, um, and you, you know, these people to get to liquidity, it's even harder because they can't just shop. Let me slow down for a moment. Mechanical yeah. Turk, uh, Mark gave a kind of questioning, quizzical yeah. look. I have no uh, idea what a mechanical I, Turk is. I looked into this because Roger Veer, when he was first telling me about Purse, explained this to me. Uh, mechanical Turk is a program basically for just pure data entry. There are people working, just doing data entry for various different Amazon, I don't know who's exactly paying this. Amazon essentially is giving them money or they're giving them store they're credit. Outs outsourcing typists. Yeah, to, to enter data into their system. Isn't that basically what they do? Yes, yeah, they, they, they do data entry and um, they do a lot of other um, you know, tasks um, that humans can do. Um, so they call it like artificial, artificial intelligence. Um, <laughs> And they include things like um, you know, looking at the feed from you know Google Cars and matching you know the address, the picture, the images they see of house addresses or, or the numbers, and turning it into actual text that um, that they can enter into their system. So, uh, so so it's used for a wide range of things. You know, academics use it for to get a large survey audience um, and and so on. But, but the, the have, people who are who are those mechanical Turk workers are are getting paid an Amazon store credit, which is only useful if you want to get. Get something on Amazon, but if you turn that Amazon store credit into Bitcoin using Purse, which is what a lot of them do, then they can spend it anywhere and you know on anything. So it makes it much more valuable to them. So they're willing to pay that extra percentage on top to to turn their store credit into Bitcoin. Andrew, hang on, I want to bring it back for more. It's Free Talk Live. We're back with more Free Talk Live. Of course, you can join us here toll free at eight fifty five four fifty free. Coming up, we'll talk about Independence Day and. What it all means. Of course, you can share your thoughts with us here. It's Ian and Mark in the studio. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can also get on Skype, which is where we have Andrew Lee from Purse, purse.freetalklive.com. You go there, you get signed up, and you'll be signing up uh, underneath Free Talk Live. So we'll get a very, very small portion of your purchase uh, price 
from that point forward when you use Purse to save something like 20 to 25% easily on every product uh, available on Amazon. It's an incredible it's an incredible feature. It's an incredible concept. I've been using it now for about six months, I think. I've had a close to two dozen transactions. And one of the things I like about Purse is it shows off on the main dashboard that you have when you log in how much you have saved uh, over the history of your use of Purse. So far, I've saved over 530 U.S. dollars on nearly two dozen transactions. That's uh, that's pretty significant savings. And usually, I'll get 20 to 25 percent off of pretty much anything that I put on the order sheet. You go above 25%, it's going to get more progressively more difficult to get someone to fulfill an order. So, for instance, when I left town, uh, I wanted to get that new router for the studio. I had it set at 50% off because I figured nobody was going to bite on it, and nobody did. So uh, we're back on with Andrew Lee. But you said it's pretty easy to get 20 to 25% off. Pretty much that's the average was 20% in the United States. Right, Andrew? Yeah, that's correct. And Andrew, you are the... What's the highest uh, discount somebody's gotten for, from what you've been able to see? So we've seen people um, fulfill the fifty percent, which is a which is a maximum, but wow. um, they're they're few and far far between. Yeah, that one's pretty hard to uh, to accomplish. But again, if you if you don't need something urgently, you can put it on the marketplace and see if somebody bites at a at a higher percentage. So you're the are you the CEO or the founder? What exactly is your role with Purse? So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Purse. Excellent. And you guys have been open for more than a year. Is that right? So, we're, yeah, we're in our 14th month in business. I think it's that's fantastic. A, that, that's an eon in uh, Bitcoin years. Now, I heard, rumor, <laughs> I heard rumors you guys are considering expanding beyond Amazon. Is there truth to that? There is, um, yes. And we want to continue on this um, thesis of uh, liquidating stored value and turning it into Bitcoin, as well as providing discounts for using Bitcoin. Yeah, you said that a bunch of companies do essentially what Amazon does, which is pay uh, pay some employees in store credit, online credit, and that the, obviously those employees, uh, you know, <laughs> they want to get some things that they can't get on Amazon or mm -hmm. whatever, and so that would be it would make sense that you know those that did you want to be take advantage of that same situation with other online companies. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, and you know, Amazon gift cards were kind of the de facto remittance tool for a lot of startups um, here, especially on the West Coast. Um, if you, if you ever thought about um, you know, creating an app where you could uh, you know hire virtual contractors online um, for any kind of service, then you, you probably you'll, you'll conclude that Amazon gift card is the easiest, most efficient way to do it before Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, and so there are you know, dozens of companies, just like Mechanical Turk or Amazon's affiliate program, that um, use uh, Amazon gift cards as a remittance tool. And uh, and so you know, looking beyond, there are also like miles and um, hotel points and loyalty points where we could also uh, do something similar. So even if Amazon tomorrow decided, all right, we're jumping on board with Bitcoin, we're going to start accepting Bitcoin officially as as payment at Amazon, which they don't do today. But if they were to do that tomorrow. That really wouldn't affect your business, would it, right? Because, I mean, there's still all those people that want to cash out their store credit and turn it into Bitcoin, and that's basically what uh, sort of fuels purse. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Very cool. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. So can you tease at all what uh, you've got on the, on the horizon? Is it something you can even talk about? So in a couple of weeks, we're re launching a completely redesigned site. It'll be very mobile friendly, and uh, it, it, you know, kind of makes this. It, it separates the shop and earn aspect. So, so uh, you know, you see what you need to see. Um, I, you know, I imagine Ian that you've never bought Bitcoin on first, or I've not. because, you, but um, and so so we're, we're really working on the experience and trying to make you know sh saving on Amazon just as easy as shopping on Amazon. It's awesome. I love it. Mark, any other questions you've got for uh, Andrew? You had mentioned airline miles, and I think people can transfer airline miles from one person to another. Would this be a way to sort of for people to monetize their airline miles? Yes, that's at correct. At some point? Yes. Okay. Well, I, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah, this whole thing's a bit, the whole thing's a big deal. I'm so glad that you approached us. Thank you, Andrew, for uh, for coming on Free Talk Live to talk about how your, your business works. And by the way, I'd like to also say that uh, the customer service has been great. Before you reached out to me, there was one issue that happened with uh, one of the transactions that was just really weird that one of the, I don't even want to get into all the details, but your customer service handled it. There's a $10,000 guarantee. Is there not? Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, so if, if you don't get your item or you know your your item comes damaged, we'll do everything we can to get your uh, get it refunded in a timely fashion. And if not, um, we will refund you your Bitcoin payment. 
Um, so, I mean, I'm guessing a lot of listeners on the show probably heard about Bitcoin several times and probably wondered, you know, why they would ever use it. And uh, and so, if you buy eighty dollars in Bitcoin today, and you can re- literally get a hundred dollar item on Amazon through Purse. Uh, it's really simple, and it saves real money. Yeah, this is the the, the um, as Ian's called it, the killer it's a killer app. app. Um, and this is this is the thing that's going to. It seems to me that it really it gives everybody a reason to want to get Bitcoin because. Uh, most, I mean, I would say that a good, probably majority of Americans have used Amazon at some point in their life, mm-hmm. and everybody wants to get a sale, and there's no sales available on Amazon items. So that's it. You, if you want to get twenty to twenty-five percent off on things that you buy on Amazon, which is pretty much everything you need in your life, you don't. Ha- I mean, everything you get at Walmart, you can get at Amazon. Um, you can get actually some food there. Basically, the only thing you can't get on Amazon is your electric bill, your uh, mortgage, um, <laughs> and um, like uh, produce and meats. Yeah, pretty and, much. And, and, you know, not counting meat in cans. I'm a huge fan. I love what you're doing. Andrew, thank you, and thanks for reaching out, and uh, I'm glad we're working together. Thanks for having me on the show. Have a good night. Andrew Lee from Purse. You can go to purse.freetalklive.com. Again, if you get signed up there, You only need to go through our URL just when you sign up. You can then go through their regular URL after that because, you know, you don't need to keep going. You can use ours. Just bookmark it and go. You could. Uh, Purse.freetalklive.com. If you go get the account now, then you reserve your uh, username and other people are not going to be, you know, getting that username. Your your favorite one. It's a good idea to do it even before you get your Bitcoins. You can get Bitcoins by going through expresscoin.com. We have a relationship with them, and they make it fast, safe, easy, and e- efficient to get your bitcoins. It's and a very low fee at ExpressCoin.com, by the way. You can actually even get you can even get up to forty dollars worth of bitcoin by using code FTL with no transfer fee yep. over at ExpressCoin. So you could, you know, put forty bucks worth of uh, into Bitcoin through ExpressCoin, get f- get that forty dollars worth of bitcoin, and then use that to buy anything you want at Amazon for a sweet discount. Yep. Purse. That's the way to do it. Expresscoin.com to get bitcoins. You can't say it's hard. It's easy. You know, if you can get a money order or write a check, you can get bitcoins. 